This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live or on location at the Science and Technology Park here in Maryland, in Baltimore, at Johns Hopkins. With me, Tony Talale of Brassica Protection Products, a private company. Tony, welcome to SNN Live. Shelley, thank you for inviting me. It's good to have you. So let's get Brassica. Let's get down to Brassica Tactics here. <laughs> Tell me about Brassica. Brassica is the uh, Latin uh, name for the Brassica or cruciferous vegetables. The cruciferous vegetables include broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, some of the radishes, and so forth. And the genesis of our company is that uh, a group of scientists at Johns Hopkins in the medical school determined that there were some very powerful antioxidant uh, detoxifying agents that were present in broccoli. And so that led to the starting of the company. So wait a minute. You mean to tell me that my mother was right? <laughs> I'm oh, afraid oh. so. You got, you got to understand, the rest of us out there, our mothers were right. Tell us why our mothers were right. Yeah, our mothers were right. We should eat our broccoli and lots of it. Uh, but the only the challenge is that uh, not all broccoli is the same in how much of these uh, these these antioxidant compounds that they have, and there isn't really a reliable way for the consumer to know that. So while we are very uh, encouraging of people to eat as many fruits and vegetables as they can, I think that's a wonderful dietary strategy for health. Uh, the scientists from our company were able to identify a particular compound in broccoli and determine how to produce uh, broccoli that would produce high levels and consistent levels of these compounds and we uh, have uh, now make that available in several different forms. Like what? Well, uh, we started out actually with fresh broccoli sprouts, which were baby broccoli plants, three days old, which have a 20 times concentration of these particular compounds called sulforaphane as the adult plant. And because of the way you grow broccoli sprouts in controlled conditions, you can guarantee actually the amount of content in each, uh, in, in each serving. Um, we moved on now to do uh, a second thing, which is we extract these compounds, these natural compounds, with a very simple water extraction from broccoli sprouts and broccoli seeds. And we make this powder, which doesn't taste like broccoli too much, or only a little bit, uh, available for things like uh, adding it to foods and beverages and also to put it into uh, dietary supplements. So uh, one of our products is uh, Brassica Tea. Couldn't think of a better name than that. Um, and uh, what happens is, is that we put the uh, extract in tea bags, and each tea bag contains as much of the uh, sulforaphane, what we call SGS, as you would get if you ate one serving of average broccoli. But you can be sure you're going to get it because we've tested it and we know it's there. Is it noticeable? I mean, it's if you, not. I, I mean, you know, not necessarily the taste, but do you feel better from it? I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, well, I, that's a, a good question, yeah, right? No, absolutely. No, that's a. Long, I mean, this is a long-term preventive strategy. Uh, a lot of chronic disease takes many, many, many years to develop, and we need to be working on our health every day. Unfortunately. So wait a minute. Is this an ounce of prevention? Well, it is an ounce of prevention. <laughs> exactly. We used to sell the sprouts by the ounce, so we used to talk about them as an ounce of prevention. So. So how? What's your background? Well, I'm actually the son of a scientist, so to speak. I'm, I'm genetically prone to science, but never studied that. I'm a business person and did a lot of work in consumer marketing of consumer products, uh, a lot of food and beverage products. So and when so, are you going to have a bag of chips? Yeah, right. Well, we, we're working on it. We're working on it. We, don't, we want to counter the effect of the chips if we can. So. Um, well, it's one of the reasons we like to put it in tea, because tea is a really very healthy beverage as well. So uh, it gives you a chance to marry the two, the benefits of the two products together. So is this a one product company? Well, in fact, we do today make one uh, ingredient preparation. But this product, uh, this ingredient goes into many, many different products. It goes into the tea and other beverages, as we talked about. We have a thriving business uh, selling our extract to nutritional supplement companies who put it in a variety of nutritional supplement products, perhaps 30 or 40 are on the market today, yeah. uh, in a variety of combinations, both as a standalone antioxidant and in combinations with other healthy ingredients. 
Uh, so we have a lot of customers, and uh, uh, that works. That, that that works for us. Obviously, we are looking at different ways to do this and so different me, crucifers and so forth. Give me your professional opinion. What net effect will taking a derivative of broccoli do for one? Well, on an individual basis, it's, of course, very difficult to, to tell because this is a, a prevention strategy, a preventative strategy, not a, a treatment strategy. But we know from epidemiology that people who eat a lot of cruciferous vegetables have many fewer chronic diseases and cancers. Um, and that's very compelling data. And uh, what we have now done, and it's isolated one of the key components that is responsible for that. So over a lifetime of consuming these kinds of products and having a healthy lifestyle and, and eating fruits and vegetables, we think that this could have a beneficial effect. And, and it's we, never too late. To start. Well, no, that's ab that's absolutely correct. That's absolutely correct. Um, the effects are are uh, cumulative over time. Uh, this is actually what we call a long-lasting antioxidant. It actually builds up in the body over several days uh, and continues to work. So, I have a question. Why did Brassica choose Maryland? Well, we're really a company with a lot of Maryland roots. Um, our initial technology was developed at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, so we have some technology license from Johns Hopkins. Uh, and our company has been based here since the beginning. We, in fact, as a company, lived in two of the incubator, uh, technology incubator spaces that the uh, state uh, and, and city have supported, so both the Bard Labs and the Emerging Technology Center. We were supported initially uh, with a grant uh, from the Maryland Department of Business and Economic Development, DBED, um, and in fact it's a grant that had a payback and we've actually paid it back three times over. Uh, so when we work, uh, our tea is made by a company called Baltimore Coffee and Tea right here in Towson. So uh, it's, uh, we're steeped in Maryland and we couldn't really do this, I think, any place else. It's worked out great for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get a website right now. www.brassica.com, B-R-A-S-S-I-C-A.com has the link to all of our products and all of our information. And for more information, go right there. I, there's a tendency for me to want to call him Tony Broccoli, but I won't. Instead, I'm going to tell you his real name, Tony Talale. The name of the company is Brassica Protection Products. It's a private company. He was good enough to come on with us. We are at the Science and Technology Park at Johns Hopkins here in Baltimore, and I want to thank you. Let me hold your product right. and shake your hand at the same time. I'm, I'm coordinated. Right. Good job, I, I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much for the opportunity. Anytime.